We got some breaking news coming out of the Las Vegas Raiders training camp. The Raiders have officially activated defensive end Tyree Wilson. Let's talk about this. According to the reports, the Raiders have activated first round defensive end Tyree Wilson from the NFI list, and he will be practicing today for the first time this training camp. So as you guys remember, Tyree Wilson was added to the NFI list as opposed to the physically unable to perform list, which Byron Young, the other rookie, was actually on that list, right? And the difference was where the injuries occurred. For Tyree Wilson, the injury obviously occurred outside of Raiders-related uh, camp or, or mini camp or whatever. Uh, it was outside of Raiders activities. Uh, obviously, Tyree Wilson got hurt. His foot injury uh, happened back at Texas Tech. And the Raiders had him on the NFI list, and he's pretty much missed all the way up to this point. And it's interesting because the Raiders gave us this timeline of two weeks, right? And they gave that timeline to us uh, about two weeks ago, maybe even less than two weeks ago. And they didn't give it to us directly, but they gave it to us through Albert Breer, who works for Sports Illustrated. Uh, they get, they told him while he was at the Raiders training camp that Tyree Wilson should be back within the next two weeks. And I tweeted that same exact statement. I said, I think Tyree Wilson's going to be back within the next two weeks. That's kind of what we're hearing. That's the reports. And it actually ended up happening. He's uh, happening, right? He's actually activated for the very, very first time. Now I'm very excited for this Las Vegas Raiders team. And I say that because not only is Tyree Wilson back, but what I watched on tape from the Las Vegas Raiders entire defensive line was freaking impressive. And that was without Chandler Jones and Max Crosby and Tyree Wilson, right? And Jerry Taylor and Blue and Nichols, if you really want to get into it. But what the Raiders defensive line did against the 49ers, and I know it's preseason and it's backups, but let's be real. These guys are going to play. John Jenkins will play. Neil Farrell will play. Malcolm Kuntz and Byron Young. And Matthew Butler, these guys are going to play. And to me, if you're playing in the preseason, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't have success, right? Like, would you guys rather watch the low energy Raiders that we've seen for the last many, many, many years or this high energy, ready to whoop your ass football club, right? So to me, what I saw from these guys was impressive. And now we get Tyree Wilson back, right? The guy that should be able to take this defensive line to that next level. I don't think people realize this, right? Uh, yes, Max Crosby's our best defensive defensive line, best overall defensive player, right? But Max Crosby's upside was not that, right? Tyree Wilson's upside is to become the best player on this defense. Uh, that is the upside. That's why he was the seventh overall pick. Because look, four picks earlier with the third overall pick, the Houston Texans took Will Anderson Jr., right? And I watched Will Anderson's tape. The guy's already going to be a superstar. It's very, very clear on tape. The guy is it. Very, very good. We've heard reports from some of the other guys that have been a pick high, right? And we know Tyree Wilson also has that same upside. So as this guy gets fully healthy, and that will be a question mark. We'll talk about that in just a second. But as Tyree Wilson gets fully healthy and he starts to develop and he realizes that, you know, how to use his hands and he realizes how to get after it. There's no reason why Tyree Wilson should not overtake Max Crosby as our best player. There's no reason why Tyree Wilson can't get to the, the guy that a lot of people had as his comp, right? His comp, at least for me, was Miles Garrett. There's no reason why he can't get there, right? Uh, Miles Garrett may be a little bit more athletic, but it's not that massive, right? I think Tyree Wilson is still very, very athletic. And had Tyree Wilson been in last year's draft class and Trayvon Walker was not in that draft class and it was a, you know, not a quarterback heavy draft Tyree Wilson would have been the first overall pick the same way Trayvon Walker was the first overall pick last year right so this guy's potential is through the roof there's no reason why he should not develop for the Las Vegas Raiders and become our number one player on this roster or on this defense I'm not saying he'll be better than Max obviously Max is a very very special talent but the upside for Tyree Wilson is there right now, the question mark that I think I'm going to have for Tyree Wilson, especially early on, is how does that foot actually feel? Um, you know, there's a, a, a doctor who's a Raiders fan named Nav who did the Tyree Wilson foot injury video. Um, him and a, he, he had another doctor that kind of does sports medicine. They got together and they created this video. It's like a five, six minute video talking about Tyree Wilson's foot. And I never really thought about it, right? But his injury was the middle of his foot, the 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 injury happened because he pushed off his foot right so uh, you know the middle of his foot was was the injury point and 
the doctor made a good point, right? They talked a little bit about how it could possibly impact him going forward and some of the things they want to see from him. And it made me think, like, for Tyree Wilson to be fully healthy, he has to be comfortable. His foot has to not hurt, right? Because think about this. When Tyree Wilson is lined up over a, let's say, right tackle, and he plants his left foot into the ground to change his outside move into an inside move, well, he's using that foot to be able to do that. And over time, how is that foot going to react to him planting his foot, changing direction? You know, he gets underneath someone, he has to lift him up and use his both feet, hips, all that. But you're using that foot. How is this foot going to feel? You know, some people talked about how Tyree Wilson was limping the other day, and he definitely looked like he was limping to me. But would a foot injury cause that limp? And, and that was a, a good question that someone asked. Probably not. Uh, maybe he wasn't limping, right? Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited to see Tyree Wilson. Another thing to, to kind of discuss with him is I think what I want to see from him based off of his college tape. Uh, one of the interesting things with Tyree Wilson is you know what he naturally has, right? He's long, very long, very lengthy. And that translates him into him being probably the best run defender at the edge position from this past class, right? Because he's long, because he's lengthy, he's able to create separation, create natural separation between him and offensive tackles. He can use one hand and be longer than anybody else, and he'll keep the right arm free, or he'll use the right arm, keep the left arm free uh, if he's lined up on the right side of the of the form or on the left side of the formation. And he can play the the run. He can defend it very, very well. This guy's a top tier run defender day one. But what we need from this guy is we need him to develop the pass rush. And that's going to be the, the key part of his game. Now, I should also state this. From a mental processing perspective, from a football IQ perspective, he's a smart football player, right? He's not one of those, those guys that doesn't see things well. He processes very, very, very well. So he is a smart player. Uh, I think from a scheme perspective, you'll, he'll be able to pick things up real quick, right? When we're running defensive line games, he'll pick that up right away. And I say that because... Against the 49ers, we ran so many defensive line games. I thought it was a thing of beauty. Guys like uh, Malcolm Koontz and, and uh, Neil Farrell were running games. Malcolm Koontz was running games with Adam uh, Adam Butler, right? Uh, Adam Platt came in later on. He was running defensive line games, right? And I think for the Raiders, Tyree Wilson's smart enough where he's going to run defensive line games better than any other player we may have, right? Outside of Max and Chandler and Koontz, who runs really, really well. Uh, with those games, I think Harry Wilson's going to do a great job as well. And it's important to understand this this fact, right? When you're running defensive line games, it's not as easy as a guy slants here and a guy slants here and that's it, All right? There's a lot of little things that go into it. If you're the defensive end and you're slanting first, you got to take your offensive tackle. You got to hold on to him and go into the guard and hold on to him. You got to hold both guys so the defensive tackle can loop around freely. Now, you don't have to hold both guys. Right, there's different ways to do it, but that's the, the point behind how to run a defensive line game. And it's the same thing if you're a D tackle and you're going first. As a D tackle, you got to take that guard and you got to go into the tackle and you got to hold both guys. Right? Do it however. Some people will take the guard and push them right into the tackle. Some people will physically hold both guys. But the point is the point. If you're the first guy going, you got to understand that concept. Right? So your defense fan can loop around you freely and get to the quarterback. And I saw a lot of good things on tape the Raiders versus 49ers. And the thing with Tyree Wilson is his tape already shows a guy that knows how to run these games well. And he has that change of direction ability as well. So to me, it's going to be perfect that Tyree Wilson is back. He can start practicing, start getting his foot underneath him. He can start to really get back into football shape. The guy hasn't played football for nine to 10 months. The guy has to get active, has to get healthy. And I think he will. By the time week one comes around, I think the Raiders will figure out his rotation. Uh, I think this Raiders defensive line is arguably the deepest we've had. You know, it's not just Max and and uh, Chandler and Tyree Wilson at the top. I think Malcolm Koontz is going to be right there as well. I think Malcolm Koontz and Tyree Wilson sh will likely come together off, off the sideline. But even beyond that, I think a guy like Jordan Willis, super, super impressive for me. He was absolutely crushing the 49ers left tackle. He was taking him and taking him right back under the quarterback. I believe he had at least one sack, multiple pressures. Um, Isaac Rochelle, although I'm not sure if he's a D tackle or a D end, he looked good as well. Uh, uh, he played the D tackle position 
Um, but he is technically on the Raiders roster as a defensive end. So I'm not really sure exactly how they plan to use him. Uh, guys like Adam Plant have a little bit of upside. Uh, David Agoa as well, right, could possibly continue to develop. So I think this Raiders roster from a depth perspective is in a really, really solid place. I think these young guys are going to continue to develop. They're going to get better. The energy starting to pick up. And you're really seeing this shift around the Las Vegas Raiders. You're seeing that energy shift from what we were last year to what we were this year. And there's a big difference. And I'm very, very fired up and I'm here for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now, I'll see you guys next time with another video.